and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you. Good morning, people of the tube. Hope you're having a grand and all is well in your world. Hello, everybody. Uh, quickly, if you hear a whirring noise in the background, that is just my little mini, mini heater down there because it's blooming freezing. And uh, yeah. Anyway, let's let's get on with the video. So today, um, today's video of the tube, we are doing a shootout. Everywhere, man, fall back. Anyway, um, weirdness aside, today we're doing a shootout between the Boss Katana guitar amp and the Boss Katana bass amp. Now, I'm scared, people with you, because if it turns out that I prefer the bass amp, Queenie is never going to see this amp ever again because this is hers, and uh, I'm just going to have to run away with it. It's it's as simple as that, really. I mean, that that is the way it is, and uh, I don't want to incur the wrath, but. It might happen. So, uh, we're going to do three different tones. We're going to do a totally clean, not not John Fashani clean, totally clean, but, you know, like literally Hank Marvin clean. Um, then we're going to do like a bluesy kind of overdrive kind of tone, and we're going to do full distortion. They're the, t uh, they're the three sounds we're going to use. And I'm thinking of doing it with three different guitars. So the totally clean one, I'm going to use a Strat. The blues tone, I'm going to use a Telecaster. And the full out distortion tone, I'm going to use a Les Paul. Uh, just, you know, just for variety. I did I was kind of thinking of like doing it on one guitar. I was just going to do it on Mr. White, but um, I'm thinking I'm going to change it up a bit and like do something a bit different. Um, and again, just kind of like just, it shows difference in guitars as well as tone, if that makes any sense. So, first one you're going to hear will be the Boss Katana guitar amp, totally clean. And then we'll hear the Boss Katana bass amp, totally clean. Overdrive, bluesy kind of tone, bluesy kind of tone, distortion, distortion. So, uh, Strat, Telecaster, Les Paul. Uh, although I might use the Chapman for the full distortion, actually, instead of Les Paul, because I quite like the humbucker. So, um, well, I just love this guitar. Anyway, that's enough on that one. <laughs> Shall we get going, Pooh before he gets distracted by guitars again? Which he always happens, anyway. Anyway, see, thinking about them already. So, uh, yeah, uh, mic in the SM57 today. Um, I'm going to mic in the same place. Uh, obviously, the Boss Katana bass amp has 10-inch speakers. This has a 12-inch speaker. So that will be different. It'll make it sound a little bit different. Um, but I will try and get them as close as I can to each other. And uh, as usual, people too, after you've heard the sound examples, let me know which one you preferred and why. Yeah, what, what was it about uh, the bass amp or the guitar amp? You know, which one did you prefer and why? Let us know in the comment section below. So, without further doodles, let's make some noise.
number two. There you go. That is uh, all six sand examples. Like I said, we've got really clean, kind of a bluesy, kind of broken up kind of tone, and a flat out distortion mode. So, people of the tube, which one did you prefer and why? Was it the guitar katana or was it the bass katana? For me, uh, I'm still totally in love with this one, although I do love the sound of the bass katana. Um, the bass katana to me, though, so it's still, it sounds a little bit sterile. It sounds great. But it's not quite there for me. I I, I feel the the guitar katana. It, it's got the it's got all the frequencies I want to hear. The bass one's missing a few, but it still sounds amazing. And I still love that amp. It's amazing. Um, but for me, it's still the guitar katana for me. It just had it all. It it, it just kind of. I, I don't I don't know what it is about these katanas, people too, but they're just insane. Um, but yeah. Which one did you prefer and why, people of YouTube? Let us know in the comment section below. I'd be very curious to hear your comments on this one. And this is, this is something I've wanted to do, and a lot of people have actually asked me to do this, since I demoed the bass katana on its own. Uh, on its own, like, you know, say, without context, I love the sound of this, but when I compare it to the k guitar one up here, uh, I definitely prefer the guitar one. Um, although, if I did turn up to a gig and this was there... And I had to plug straight into this with no pedals. I wouldn't be kicking up a stink. I'd be very happy. Um, it still sounds amazing. It's still a viable option for guitarists, which I like very much. And, you know, so many guitarists use bass amps. You know, Paul Kossoff used the super bass. Adam Jones from Tool uses the super bass. You know, a lot of guys use these use bass amps to get, like, you know, a really nice kind of sound. And it works. You know, they just work. And uh, I've got to say... In the room, the bass guitar had way more punch uh, than the guitar one, though. Like, you know, you could feel this one a mile away. Like I said, there's enough punch in this to, like, to stun a donkey at 20 yards. Uh, not to say that the guitar one doesn't have punch, but it because it's kind of made more for the guitar kind of frequencies, it kind of doesn't have certain frequencies that this has being a bass amp. So, be that what it may. But for me, I still prefer the Boss Katana guitar amp. It just it, there's just, there's something in there. But again, I'm sure uh, some people will love that one way more than that one. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, it, it's it's all subjective, isn't it? At the end of the day. Anyway, Pilchup, let me know which one you preferred and why. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, if you like the video videos I do here. Uh, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Links to that are down there, as well as links to my music down there as well. My band camp. There's a album from a trio. Uh, there's also all the stuff I've released over the years. So, um, yeah. So, and uh, till next time, people of YouTube, hope you enjoyed this vid, and I will see you again. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening, and goodbye now. Thanks for for watching. Boss Katanas. You can't go wrong. You just can't. It's impossible. You just can't. Boss, literally, out the park. Gone into the stratosphere, no pun intended. My friends.